फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अभिव्यक्ति इंडिया फ्यूचर क्लास रूम इन टूडेज एपिसोड ऑफ क्वान्टिटेटिव एप्टीट्यूड वी विल सी सम टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम ऑन सिंपल इंटरेस्ट वेलकम टू एक्सेल इन पी ओ एग्जाम हियर इज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन द स्क्रीन दैट रुपीज फाइव थाउजेंड इज इन्वेस्टेड For seven years at five percent per annum, what is the simple interest and the amount after seven years? Here, rupees five thousand is invested for seven years at five percent per annum. and we have to find the simple interest now in this case it is a simple interest and therefore for the first year the investor gets 5% second year he gets 5% again third year he gets 5% and so on up to 7 years it means in 7 years he gets in all 35% so now it's very simple that to calculate the simple interest that 35% of 5000 if you solve this you get it as 1750 how you will calculate 35% that 10% will be 500 rupees a decimal point after one digit then 10% 500 again 10% this will be 30% and 5% will be the half of 10% that is 250 rupees and this together will be 1750 so the interest the investor receives is 1750 and the amount amount is what it is simple principal plus interest so what is principal principal is 5000 rupees plus interest is 1750 rupees and so together it is 6750 so the interest is 1750 and the amount is 6750 friends it is just like solving the percentage sums first see the videos of percentage so that you will get it very nicely we are not using any formula here now there is a second question on the screen that a sum of rupees 468.75 was lent out at simple interest and at the end of 1 year and 8 months the total amount was rupees 500 find the rate of interest a sum of 468.75 is lent out at simple interest at the end of 1 year 8 months so 1 year 8 month means how much it is it is 5 by 3 years if you convert 1 year 8 months in years you will get 5 by 3 years so at the end of 5 by 3 years the total amount is 500 rupees so find the rate now we see that 468.75 is amounted to 500 rupees what is the difference between these two that difference is 
31.25 so the difference is rupees 31.25 it means that the simple interest received is 31.25 means on the amount of sum of 468.75 the interest of 31.25 is received so for 100 how much it is so it can be written as 468 on 468.75 what is the interest interest received is 31.25 so for 100 rupees it will be how much we multiply this two and divide by the first number so it will be 31.25 multiplied by 100 divided by 468.75 this is the rate for 5 by 3 years. This is the rate by 5 by 3 years. Now we have to find the rate annually per annum. So what we will have to do? We will have to divide this rate by 5 by 3 years. So it will be if you divide this by 5 by 3 years, you will get it multiplied by 3 by 5. So what you get annual rate that 31.25 multiplied by 100 divided by 468.75 multiplied by 3 by 5. And if you solve this, you get the rate of interest as 4%. Friends, very simple. For 5 by 3 years, the amount 468.75 is amounted to 500. The difference between these two is 31.25. It means the interest received is 31.25. So for this much of amount, the interest is 31.25. So for 100 rupees, it will be how much? For one year, what it will be? Divide it by 5 by 3 years. So multiply it by 3 by 5. So after solving this, you get it 4%. Next question on the screen is that a certain sum is invested at certain rate of simple interest for 5 years. If the rate of interest is 2% more, the interest shall be 500, and 500 more. What is the sum? A certain sum is invested at a certain rate of simple interest for 5 years. So, some certain sum is invested for 5 years. We do not know the rate. We do not know the rate. But it is said that if 2% more interest rate is there, then the investor will receive 500 rupees more. So in 5 years, he will get 2%, first year, second year 2%, so in 5 years it will be what, 10%. So he receives 10% of the principal and that amounts to rupees 500. So 10% of the principal that will be equal to what, 500 rupees. So principal will be equal to 500 multiplied by this 10 percent will be 10 by 100 multiplied by 100 100 will go to the numerator divided by 10 and if you solve this you get this principal as zero will get cancelled and it is 5000 rupees so the sum invested is 5000 rupees Friends, the next question is A lent 600 to B for 2 years and rupees 150 to C for 4 years and received 
an interest of rupees 90 find the rate of interest the simple interest is calculated so a lends 600 for two years we do not know the rate of interest we will calculate the simple interest on 600 rupees for the first year and the 600 rupees for the second year so instead of doing that if we take this amount together as 1200 and calculate it for one year it is one and the same thing so a lends rupees 1200 to b for one year the same way 150 rupees for four year it means 150 for first year 150 for the second year in this way it is for four years so it will be rupees 600 for one year so he lends it to c rupees 600 for one year it is one and the same thing 150 for four years calculating simple interest or 600 for one year calculating is the same thing so total amount lent is rupees 800 now that for 1800 for 1800 what is the simple interest it is 90 rupees so for 100 rupees how much it will be we multiply this two and divide by the first one so it will be 100 into 90 divided by 1800 so these two zeros will get cancelled and you will get it as five percent 18 fives are 90 so it will be five percent so the rate of interest here is five percent friends here we are suggesting you few more videos click on the links percentage tips and tricks part one percentage tips and tricks part two profit and loss shortcuts part one profit and loss shortcuts part two and visit us at www excel in po exams dot in friends i hope you must have enjoyed this video if yes please like it click the thumbs up button share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel thank you very much for watching this video Friends, you might have enjoyed this video, then go to thumbs up button and click. Then go to share tab and share with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and many more. And to get the updates right in your mailbox, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.